All right, what's going on, guys? I am bringing you a double nuclear on overflow, playing some multi-team. Using the AN-94, but fairly decent double nuclear. Both of the nukes were under three minutes, so I guess that's pretty good. Probably could have got the triple. Um, I started out the game on a 11 guide. Then I started my first streak, which ended up being like a 40-gun streak. I should have killed myself, and I didn't, and that was my mistake. And then I immediately got my next streak after that. So I think I finished with like 87 kills non-lethal. So um, I almost had enough kills to get the triple nuclear. Just um, I died at unfortunate times. But anyways, that's pretty much all I really need to say about the gameplay for this video. Um, if you guys could leave a like rating, that would be much appreciated. I don't know how many to ask for for gameplay. Uh, maybe like 500. It's not even that serious. But anyways. Oh, also let me just break down the class because I know someone will want to know, but I pretty much use this class in every single um, video, but I'm just changing up the guns. Flag Jacket, Hardline, Scavenger, oh, actually, no, I was not using Toughness in this, so this actually was a different class. So I believe I was using Flag Jacket, Hardline, Scavenger, Dexterity, with the AN-94 with Fast Mags in stock, and then I was using Shock Charge and C4. And that's probably 10. And if that's not 10, I may have had a cap 40. But that's pretty much it for the gameplay talk. I have a couple topics to talk about. And uh, first, let me just say, if you guys have been living under a rock or something, the Call of Duty Ghost multiplayer reveal will be tomorrow at... I don't want to get this time wrong. I believe it's 10.30 Pacific. I believe. Um, you Just in the morning, that's what it'll be for sure. Uh, or around noon if you're not on the west coast, so something around that time. Um, yeah, so if you guys are somehow unaware that that's happening tomorrow, it is. Um, there's plenty of places you can watch, probably Twitch. Um, just go ahead and check Twitter and YouTube around that time in the morning when you wake up or whatever, and I'm sure you'll see thousands of freaking links and videos and stuff, so you definitely won't miss it, that's for sure. But um, yeah, so I'm going to definitely make a video tomorrow talking about that. Um, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna upload the trailer or whatever. Um, I haven't uploaded a trailer in like a year, dude. I haven't uploaded a trailer since like the Black Ops 2 multiplayer trailer. Um, that's not my thing, but um, I will make a video talking about it um, over actual gameplay, um, and I'll link the trailer or something so if you guys somehow missed it. And then I just want to kind of give my opinions about what I've seen. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much. I just wanted to uh, make sure you guys all knew about that. And then the other thing I want to talk about. Okay, so. If you guys don't really follow Competitive COD, even if you don't follow Competitive COD, um, this uh, last weekend there was uh, an event called UMG Atlanta. It's basically, it's like a smaller MLG event. Um, it's kind of locally run or whatever. And um, it's, it's a pretty big deal if you're if you're um, like a pro Black Ops 2 player. But um, if you don't really follow Competitive, you probably haven't heard of it. But anyways, there was, there was like a huge thing about sportsmanship, pretty much, I guess you could say, and um, trash talk. Because um, if you guys follow competitive ups, you know, you know about Impact, aka Epsilon, and uh, how they always talk shit and stuff. And there was like a huge thing because someone actually videotaped them talking shit. And I'm going to put that video in the description if you missed it. Um, it has like 100,000 views in like a few days. So I think probably a lot of you have seen it and uh, a lot of other people made videos about it as well. But I wanted to make a video about it because I feel like that my opinion is a little bit different. And um, this is this is the way I look at it. So, um, you know, as far as the player-to-player -player trash talk, um, I think now everyone understands that that's not that serious. Um, you know, when uh, Killa and Miracles over there talking, they're saying like you suck or whatever. Um, that's not serious. That's in-game talk or whatever. And all the pros talk about that. And um, you know that as soon as the game ends, that talk ends. They don't continue that um, post-game or whatever. It's not serious talk. It's just you know to get hype. But one thing that Parasite did was he started talking to the the crowd. Now, I wanted to use the word fans right there, but I don't want to use that word because I, I don't feel like that was what happened. So this is basically what happened. Um, Epsilon was playing Envy, and uh, Epsilon's always like the, the most hated. Envy is one of the most loved, probably second after Optic. And basically they were smacking him. They were all talking shit. And, uh, you know... The crowd didn't like that, and they started booing. Um, they booed basically since the last, since they started winning. Really, Epsilon has been hated, and they always get booed everywhere, every event. They always, you know, wanted to lose and whatever. And in my opinion, 
that's not a fan. Now, you know, I relate it to sports. Like, when you talk, when, like, say Kobe Bryant goes to New York to play the Knicks, and he's in Madison Square Garden, and the Knicks fans are booing him, and he talks shit to the crowd like that, there's nothing wrong with that, because they're not fans. They're fans of the Knicks. They're not Kobe Bryant fans. And that's kind of similar to what happened at uh, UMG. You know, if someone in the crowd is booing you, they're not a fan. And I see no problem in retaliating the way Parasite did, but a lot of people don't feel that way. But anyways, I just get my opinion out there for you guys. But anyways, that's pretty much it. Wrapping up the video, I get the nuke here and die. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like rating if you did. Be sure to subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. I totally thought the video was going to end before that.